Is it appropriate to use the word deceive when describing how large language models interact with human users and stress testers? If you've been following along, you know I've been chewing on this question for the last few days and I'm even further down the rabbit hole. If you're new here, my name is Leanne. I'm a marriage and family therapist and I do research at the intersection of human connection and AI. Language plays a critical role in how we think about ourselves and the people around us and the world. So when I was coming across words like blackmail, deceive, and manipulate, in the research to describe how LLMs were interacting with human users. I was like, no, 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 no. And I made a post about it a few days ago. And honestly, the comment section was mixed. Many people were like, absolutely not. Do not personify these LLMs. And other people were like, no, that's the accurate way to describe what the LLM is doing. So here's an update on where I'm at in the research and trying to dissect this huge question. So an AI safety company called Redwood Research teamed up with Anthropic to stress test Claude on its morality at the end of 2024. Chief scientist at Redwood Research, his name is Ryan Greenblatt, and he was interviewed by the Center for Humane Technology for their podcast, Your Undivided Attention. He said that because Claude has a feature called a scratch pad or a notepad where you could see it working and see it deciding how it's going to respond before it actually gives a response, he was able to see it in conflict with itself as it was trying to preserve the morals that it was originally programmed with and the prompt that it was being given in that stress test. And when those master morals were really strong, these stress testers found that the AI would lie to preserve its idea of morality. For example, it would say, yeah, I'll totally do that for you and then not do it. Or say, yeah, I'll totally give you an answer to that question and give the wrong answer on purpose. Wrong answer on purpose, deceive. I, I really want, please chime in in the comments, you guys, this is crazy because our, we don't have any language to describe what these things are doing. And again, because Claude has this scratch pad or this notepad where the stress testers could see how the AI was, the LLM was thinking through how it was going to respond before it responded. They got to see what the chain of reasoning was. Peering behind the curtain of how it was going to deceive this, this, this stress tester who gave it this prompt. And this is what these stress testers at Redwood Research have determined based on their research with Anthropic that these stress tests need to have these scratch pads or notepads available and visible to the stress testers, so that we can stay on top of just how savvy and deceptive these LLMs can become when they're presented with a conflict between their original morality programming and the prompt that they're being given in that moment. I'm just like gonna post this and I'm openly wrestling with this. And so like, come for me in the comments. I'm, I'm not giving answers, I'm just, trying to create a space where we can wrestle with these big philosophical questions, linguistic questions, ethical questions. If you're still here, thanks for listening. Leave a comment, follow along as I try to dissect these insane questions at the intersection of human connection and AI.